The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus entered Capernaum, a centurion approached him and appealed to him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home, paralyzed, suffering dreadfully. Jesus said to him, I will come and cure him. The centurion said in reply, Lord, I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Only say the word and my servant will be healed. For I too am a man subject to authority, with soldiers subject to me. And I say to one, go, and he goes. And to another, come here, and he comes. And to my slave, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to those following him, Amen, I say to you, in no one in Israel have I found such faith. I say to you, many will come from the east and the west and will recline with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob at the banquet in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. In addition to being the uh, Monday of the first week of Advent, the beginning of Advent, and the memorial or feast of St. Francis Xavier, today is also the first full day of Hanukkah. And I had the question, which was answered very easily and quickly. Did Jesus celebrate Hanukkah? Actually, it's answered for us in the book of John, the Gospel of John, chapter 10. Right after Jesus talks about himself as the Good Shepherd, John tells us that it was the Feast of the Dedication. Feast of the Dedication was in the middle of winter. The Feast of the Dedication commemorated the restoration of the temple after the victory of the Maccabeans over the Greeks who sought to impose pagan Greek ways upon the Jews. And many Jews at that time accepted those new ways. But Judas Maccabeus and a whole group of people surrounding him said, no, we must maintain the faith of our ancestors. And they rebelled. In fact, they were um, kind of guerrilla warriors who ultimately prevailed, who ultimately succeeded in uh, wresting power from the Greek rulers and restoring the traditions, including the temple of, uh, of Israel. And the feast that they, that they continued to celebrate, the Feast of the Dedication, was commemorating that rededication of the temple after the Gentiles, after the Greeks had profaned it. That happened only about 160, 170 years or so before the time of Jesus. So it was very recent in people's memory that the victory of Judas Maccabeus and his group over the very, very cruel Greek overlords um, restored the integrity of God's people. Now, so Jesus celebrated that feast of the dedication, which is still being celebrated as Hanukkah. So yes, in case anybody asks you the trivia question, did Jesus celebrate Hanukkah? Yes, he did. Look at John chapter 10. So what does that mean for us? 
Well, one of the things that I think is at the heart of the Feast of Hanukkah, the Feast of the Dedication, as Jesus celebrated it, was the restoration of the people of God, the Jewish people. But Jesus took that to a new level. And as we see here in, in the Gospel, and foretold really in the first reading, that it's not just a restoration of what happened in the past. We look to the past for a model of how God is going to carry things into the future. People have very, very little idea, very little understanding of just exactly what going into the future might mean. But the Jesus, in Jesus, we have not just a restoration, but a whole new beginning. A look towards a future that will never end. A look towards a future in which all people, not just one particular chosen people, but all people will be gathered into the kingdom of God. And so that's what we're celebrating now as we begin Advent. We look to the past to reaffirm our faith in God, but we look to the future in the coming of Jesus where God will make all things new.